I have in my possession a secret map by the planners of the new world order. Because the global order is changing again. A new world order. In Russia, the church reacts as anti-missionary bill becomes law. Even the Soviet Union did not have such an overwhelmingly repressive legislation. That's because they really still are the Soviet Union. They're still communists. Look at their Victory Day celebration where they marched with tanks and everything with a gigantic hammer and sickle on the wall behind them. Remember that? And look at their Duma. That's their parliament. It has four parts to it, and one of those parts of their government is the Communist Party with a hammer and sickle and everything. And notice how the hammer and sickle looks suspiciously like the crescent moon that you see on the flags of the Islamic countries, and it will be an alliance between the communistic, that is to say Esau, Edom, which means red, that red nation, and the Islamic. So the bear in Daniel chapter 7 is symbolic of the anti-Christian element of the one world system, headed by Esau, that bear nation, along with Ishmael. And remember, Esau married into Ishmael, Ishmael being the Arabian Muslim countries of today. Esau married one of the daughters of Ishmael in the book of Genesis. So there you have it. That's prophetic as well, because as we know from Ezekiel chapter 38, Persia and Russia, along with Libya and several other nations, several other anti-Christian nations, will come against America, that is to say Manasseh prophetically, the mountains of Israel where the tribes scattered to. And if you look at Ezekiel 38, you'll see Persia mentioned there. That's Iran. They were called Persia up until 1935. And in a related story from the Al Monitor from five hours ago, Iran Persia of old is now receiving the missile parts of the S-300 surface-to-air missile defense system from Russia. One year after the nuclear deal, Iran receives S-300 missiles. There you have it. Check out Ezekiel 38 and look at this article. Church reacts as anti-missionary bill becomes law. They're still atheistic communists. As Joel Skousen has pointed out many times, the Soviet Union didn't really fall. It was a way to bring about world communism by stealth. And as we know from our father's word, the one world political system has feet like the feet of a bear. But there isn't a one world political system yet. There's still wars and rumors of wars. But there will be a one world political system at the beginning of that five month long hour of temptation whenever Satan and his angels are cast out of heaven unto the earth. They are the fourth beast of Daniel chapter 7. So the Christian nations are symbolized by the lion in Daniel chapter 7, Esau and the anti-Christian nations, including the Islamic, by the bear. And then you have the leopard, which symbolizes the Kenites and their four hidden dynasties. And then you have, last but not least, Daniel's fourth beast, which is the supernatural, made up of Satan and his angels. That's the one world political system. It receives a deadly wound and then Satan appears as the false Christ and it goes from being a one world political system to a one world religious system at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial whenever Satan appears in Jerusalem as the false Christ. And at the end of that five month period, the true Christ will return at the seventh trumpet and that's when Ezekiel 38 and 39 transpires. That's when Esau and his confederacy that he brings with him, including Iran and other communistic and Islamic anti-Christian nations, will come over to Alaska, and that's where the Battle of the Valley of Hamangog will take place. At the same time, the Battle of Armageddon will happen over in the geographical location where Jerusalem is. So these two battles happen at the same time, and they happen on the day that the Lord Jesus Christ returns at the seventh trumpet, the seventh vial, and within the time frame of the seventh seal. So 777 is when the true Christ returns, and that's when those hailstones destroy Esau, along with his army that he puts together to come against the mountains of Israel. Mountains symbolize nations, and the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world and became the Christian nations. So back to this article from World Watch Monitor. On July 7th, Putin signed into law a bill referred to by one Christian organization as an anti-missionary bill. 
the new law known more commonly as the Yoravaya law, which will come into effect on July 20th, which is today, was formally introduced as an anti-terrorism measure allowing the government to monitor extremist groups. However, its biggest impact may be upon Russia's Christians, particularly missionaries who will need a permit and the so-called house churches, which will soon be deemed illegal. It will be illegal to have Bible studies in your house. Now, does that sound like a Christian nation, a free nation? No, it doesn't. It sounds like a communistic, atheistic nation because that's what it is. Religious activity will only be allowed to take place inside registered buildings such as churches. Maximum fines amount to the equivalent of $780 for individuals or $15,000 for organizations. The law is unlikely to affect the Russian Orthodox Church, to which, according to the Christian Post, 70% of Russians and 90% of ethnic Russians subscribe, but it will affect all other evangelical groups and denominations, including Protestants, which only make up 1% of the population. So believe it or not, Russia is not really a Christian nation. Again, go look at Joel Skousen's research into the phony fall of the Soviet Union, and he gives the reasoning why and the research, and see for yourself that that's what really happened. It was done to bring about world communism by stealth, to make communism an invisible enemy, which is far more effective than a visible enemy. And they've infiltrated the two political parties in America. The Stalinists infiltrated the Democratic Party in 1933 with the FDR administration, and in 1980 with the neocons, the Trotskyites, infiltrated the Republican political party. So there you have it, the two wings of the communistic system symbolized biblically by Ammon and Moab. And you can see that within Amos chapters 1 and 2. It says Moab burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. And it says Ammon ripped up the women with child of Gilad. And the Soviet Union was the first to make abortion legal for any reason. In 1920, they did that, right after the Bolshevik Revolution, where the czar's bones were burned into lime. So that's why I say Ammon and Moab symbolize those two wings of the communist system. It will create conditions for the repression of all Christians. Any person who mentions their religious views or reflections out loud or puts them in writing without the relevant documents could be accused of illegal missionary activity and subjected to a heavy fine. And here's another quote from Jerry Johnson, president of the National Religious Broadcasters. Following a pattern of other human rights abuses, Putin's Russia is criminalizing a central duty for all followers of Christ, sharing our faith. And at the bottom of the article here is Edward Snowden saying Putin has signed a repressive new law that violates not only human rights but common sense. Dark day for Russia. And here's another quote from the opposition leader in the Russian parliament. This is an absolutely draconian law. Even the Soviet Union did not have such an overwhelmingly repressive legislation. This is 100% a step toward an iron curtain. And again, we're headed toward that five-month period where that one-world political system with feet like the feet of a bear, a mouth like the mouth of a lion, and it was like a leopard. Those are the three beasts written of in Daniel 7, and it includes the fourth beast, which has the ten horns, because those are ten fallen angel kings that are cast out of heaven with Satan at the beginning of the five months. And again, at the end of that five-month period is when Ezekiel 38 and 39 will take place. In the middle of the five months is when Satan will appear as the false Christ, and all of the world, except for God's elect, will whore after him, thinking that he's Jesus returned, because they have not the seal of God in their forehead. More information at mark13records.com. Let me warn you, a new world order. A new world order. Let me warn you. A new world order.